Quick disclaimer, guys, before I start this video, um, this is the custom home screen iOS 14 Tesla thing that I'm talking about, but there's a lot to say and it's not perfect in the slightest. I'm going to have a link to this in the description below, but it costs money. So please watch my whole video before you spend your money on it because there are some quirks and some issues that you really need to just be aware of before you start messing with this. Hear me out before you buy it, please. So guys, if you have an iPhone, you probably are aware by now that iOS 14 came out. And one of the big features is that it allows us to put widgets on our home screen finally. So now we don't have just a boring home screen with icons, we can spice it up a little bit. And I'm typically not one to be interested in customizing my phone, but I saw this icon and shortcut pack on Reddit and it looks really cool. And while I don't really think it would be useful to me because I could just open the Tesla app, it looks really cool and I wanna to try to recreate it. If we go on Reddit, and I'll put links to all of this in the description below, so don't worry about that. Um, you can look at it when you're done watching this video. So this is what it looks like. It's, there's actually a dark and light version. I think it's really cool. So I wanna show you guys how I actually recreated it myself. So here is the catch though. Um, it does cost money. So the black edition is $5, the white edition is $5, or you can buy both for $8. I'd say if this is something that really adds value to your life and makes your phone look cool, by all means, go ahead, give this person $8. I did. Um, but I do have a few things I want to address before you spend your money on it. Like wa definitely watch this before you spend your money because there's a few little like issues that need to be fixed. It's just like some polish that should have been done before they released this. So you can see that it says that it includes 12 high quality icons and 12 custom iOS 14 Siri shortcuts. The problem is, that's not the truth. So for the icons, I have this right here. This is like the actual package that I paid and downloaded. You can see that they all don't match up. I'm not gonna read them all. Um, you can just look yourself. But for example, um, the icon, there's one that says heated seats. There is no mention of heated seats in the features. The features on the website mentions honk the horn, but there's no honk the horn icon. And the custom shortcuts, when you download it, it's actually, it's very simple. It's just a text file with iCloud links. And you download them on your phone and it will open up in the shortcut app and you can customize it that way. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Like that's, that's not gonna be a problem, but I just want you to be aware of kind of the weird issues right now. So the shortcut links, if you look at it, and again, I'm not gonna compare and count, there's only 10 shortcut links, and it claims that there's 12. So that's kind of a problem. We're missing some of the promised product. Um, again, there is no um, honk the horn at all, and there is no open charge port at all. So as of right now, the issues are, we're missing shortcut links, and also there's, an, there's a discrepancy because there's honk the horn and heated seat. So like all of those, there actually should be 13, not 12. Uh, yeah, figure that out um, before I can recommend this. So this is what mine looks like right now. It actually is pretty cool. Like this is my home screen. Okay, so as you can see, again, there's, there's some random things. This icon for the charge port it's like it has a transparent background and not the white background, which is weird, you know? And also too, just to keep in mind, this picture of my car at the top, I had to use the um, app Widgetsmith. So that's a separate download. You have to go in the app store, download Widgetsmith. I'm gonna kind of do this from scratch. So let's kind of recreate the dark version so you can see exactly how to do this. I'm not gonna do every single icon because it's gonna take forever but I'm gonna show you kind of how to get started. So first let's do the widget. So, um, so first of all, all you gotta do is just go into the app store and you wanna look for widget smith. And there it is right there. So I've already downloaded it, obviously. The size that you wanna do is medium because the, the large one takes up way too much space. So we're gonna do add medium widget. It automatically adds 
medium three and it defaults on calendar. We added the medium three, we're gonna tap it, tap again, and then we're gonna scroll down and we're just gonna click photo. And we're gonna go to our gallery and just find a photo. I just found this picture of a white Tesla I had. And now basically we just exit out, save, and now that's our medium three. You just hold down on a blank space on your iOS screen, click the little plus icon, and then pick Widgetsmith, pick medium, and then do add widget. And we're gonna take this to another screen. We're gonna make it blank because we're gonna start a fresh dark version. Hit done. And then you have to hold on to this widget and do edit widget. And we're gonna pick medium three because that's the custom one we made. So there is the pick of the car. So that's the first step. So now the next step is basically adding all these icons. And like I said, I don't want to like leak any of these links because it is paid. So I don't want to um, give out free stuff, you know? When you paste one of these links into the browser, you get this thing where it says add shortcut. So this is adding a shortcut for one of these. So you keep in mind, you have to redo this several times to finish this. It took me a long time. Um, and you just have to do add untrusted shortcut. You literally have to um, put in your username and password for your Tesla account, which is one thing some people may be a little hesitant of, but um, I looked through the information and it's only sending this data to the Tesla servers. So I feel okay. Um, if you're ever super freaked out, you can always just change your password, you know? And that's it. And like, that's how you add the shortcut. So basically I added it twice just for demonstration purposes. So here's this new climate setting I added. And to add this to your home screen, just, just click the little three, um, little three dots and you have to actually click it again. And now you do add to home screen. And you can see this is the picture of what it's gonna look like. We don't want any text. So I'm gonna hit this little X to get the words away. Now we're gonna click the blue snowflake icon. So we're just going to do choose file. And then we're gonna to go to black and we're gonna hit whatever one we want, but obviously it is the climate one. And just do add and done. And it does default by putting it on the first place it can fit kind of. So we have to manually drag it. So that's how that looks. So basically we just have to repeat this over and over again. You would have to go back to that text file with all the iCloud links, add the next one, and just basically keep going. So once you add the link, it's gonna add the shortcut. You click these dots, you do add to home screen, delete the text, do this, choose so uh, choose file, pick the icon that matches. Okay, and you just have to keep doing that. Um, and also too, we can change the background color because that's, he actually included that image. So black background, set, both. And then this is how it's like starting to look. Whoa, look at this, my um, icon pack looks better now. Remember the charging port, the white? That was weird. So it actually looks better now than it did. Yeah, for whatever reason, like it doesn't like this background. <laughs> that one icon doesn't like it. I'm not really technical enough to know why. And let's just switch this. Cause I think it'd be a better vibe. There we go. Yeah, I think that like looks better. And of course, like I would have to remove these icons because the bottom icons don't really match at all. That's like the problem with customizing your phone. It's so much work because you have to make everything match. Like right now it looks good, but the icons at the bottom are like out of place, you know? And like I said, I'm not gonna repeat this for all of these icons. That's too much work. You kind of get the gist of how to do it. Um, I think it's important that I actually show you guys how this works. So let's go out to the car. So let me just demonstrate. 
So I'm not going to tap the GPS one because, yeah. Let's do the frunk. You can see it pulls up this shortcut thing, but then it gives an error. So here's another issue with this thing. If your car is asleep, it can't wake it up. So we actually have to wake up the car first. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. But now we can open up the frunk and it opens up this shortcut menu. You can see it opened right there. Done. If we click this trunk, it will open in a second. There you go. It's not the most aesthetic thing because the Siri shortcuts pulls up all the time. So there's also a button for lights. I'm going to tap that. So, I mean, that works. But then it says there's a problem flashing the lights. Error is yes. Like what? <laughs> and then there's battery status where you can check the battery. Your, char your car is charged 85% and can drive 257 miles. So that's useful. Um, there's a climate one as well, which is not useful to me because it literally just shows you what's in your car. Your climate control is off and the temperature is currently set to 66.92 degrees, but it doesn't turn it on. So it's kind of useless. Um, and then two, remember how I said that there was icons for the charge port and heated seats, but no, nothing attached, like no custom shortcuts. Well, I added the icons and just attached an arbitrary thing to it. So it doesn't do what it says. It just, I just made it the charge state. So that was just for the sake of making it look more um, uniform because we need the 12 icons just because it looks better. So basically at this point, guys, you can see that there's a lot that's quirky with it. You're welcome to buy it, but if you're expecting a very fluid and great experience, you're not going to get it. It's kind of more of a pretty face to see on a picture, but when you start using it in real life, no, there's too much wrong. I really wouldn't recommend it, but I'm still gonna link to it just because I did use it for this video. Okay guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like. Watch my other videos right here and right here. Subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna put my face right here. Have a great day. Bye.